All right, guys and girls, check this out. Before we did a video, uh, it's got very high reviews and people really love the information. If you look over there, we did a review on our Troy built Mustang Zero Turn. And everybody loved that review. So what I decided to do today was do a review on our Troy built, Troy built Bronco. <laughs> Automatic transmission. All right, what's good about this review and what's uh, bad, what, what makes it better than other reviews is that this this track that we had purchased in May of 2013 that's right and right now we're in May <laughs> of 2017 that's four years and here and these tractors are built for residential use not for commercial use but here's what's also good about this review is that I think I think uh, Maybe it cut our grass like four or five times um, a year. Other than that, we use this for commercial. We was cutting some grass, I mean commercial use. Uh, you know, we have astral auto repairs and astral home maintenance. And we were using this for commercial use. So after this review, you can make your decision on whether you want to use it for commercial or residential. All right, you can see we never... Um, I'd say 98% of the time it stayed outside. So what you see here is if it stayed outside. The paint's a little, you can tell by a little discoloration right on the top, but you guys really don't care about the paint. But if, and I didn't even clean this up. You can see it's still got leaves on it and everything. Uh, you can see the side is still kind of shiny. Now as far as the tires, these, you can see the, it's got good tread wear on it. These are the original tires on it. Rims and everything. Rims look like, and this is bleeding, guys. I'm, guys, I'm telling you. This is what the vehicle's sitting 98% of the time outside. You got these tires. So both back tires are, um, very, got a lot of tread on them. This one is the only new tire. Because a quarter nail, I, re I refixed it. Uh, didn't work too long, so we just went and bought a, a new tire, and I forgot how much the whole tire was. It was really cheap. Like maybe, I think we got it on eBay, actually, and it was like between 15 and 20 bucks. That's that's the tire and rim. All right, and so that's a new tire. Oh, that was for the zero turn? Where did we get this one from? Maybe we got Tractor Supply. All right, we got this one from Tractor Supply, which means it'll be more expensive than, <laughs> I think it may be $34.99. Still not bad, but on eBay, we store these for really cheap, and we're gonna, we're gonna get some from eBay. This tire over here, front tire, is the original tire that came on the tractor. And you can see, that still got some nice tread wear on them. As far as um, replacing the parts, replace that. We have replaced the deck belt. And let me see here. I know on the zero turn we replaced one of them. No, we didn't have to replace that. Just the, as far as the, down below, just the deck belt and maybe the drive belt. On the top, up here. We did replace the battery. As you can say, this is a Federated, it's from Fisher Auto Parts. We did replace the battery. Uh, we replaced the seat. The seat had a tear in it. And once these seats tear, as you can see, I, I kind of put this together. I bolted this seat on because this seat came from, as you can see, the zero turn. And the zero turn has another, it was a comfortable seat with a shock on it for very, for comfort to ride. It's just, I feel like riding a car. So we, the old seat off of that, we put it up here because the original seat had a tear in it and water would get into it. And it was very, every time you set it, your pants got really soaking wet underneath you got your cola 20 horsepower engine this engine is great what the heck is this if you come over this side you gotta I have no idea this and, and this proves what I mean by this thing has been outside and I'm lying, lying to you I got I got a bunch of as you can see I got a bunch of ants over here which I'm about to get the holes and and rinse them off um, I changed the oil filter one time only. Um, changed the oil, about, I think, about two times out of, out of these four years. 
and uh, it's a great, great engine. And we replaced, replaced the, I think, two bulbs for the headlights. Now, to start this up. Now, oh, before I begin, after four years, and remember, I was using this under, uh, like, um, commercial. So, uh, let me, uh, in fact, let me try to get the hold something. Now, I get that later. Let me show you something about the rear. I'll be right back. All right, we had the battery was going dead in the camera. We had to replace that. Now, after so much commercial use, I mean, I was like, I mean, when I was driving along, instead of like you're supposed, you're supposed to come to a stop and then put it in reverse or put it in drive, whatever you want to do, I was just like cruising, coasting, and slamming it again. I mean, I mean, the tractor was just like, boom. <laughs> and so I was really, really beating into this machine. And eventually what I did was back here, up under here, Got your differential right here. Now I stripped out. I stripped out this. This a good gears that's really worn in there. And instead of replacing the whole thing, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a video on rebuilding this rear. And the parts are super cheap. Uh, the parts I needed, it, they came with like three dollars, four dollars a piece, and different various parts. I think the most expensive one was like ten bucks. So I just wanted to show you that. Next, removing safety features. You know, when you get off the tractor, the vehicle, it will shut off. So what I did was go here, disconnect this, disconnect these two wires right here. Done. Now I can get up and this thing will stay running. And also underneath, there's a disconnect. So when you go in reverse, it can still cut. All right, so let's get up here. Now to start this, to start this machine, here's your brake. Here's your brake. Now to start it, you gotta choke. So there's choke right there, and then it's got fast for a little rabbit. <laughs> and then it's got a little turtle from slow. You're supposed to put it in up there, wear and choke, put your foot on the brake, and start it. Uh, I had this started already, so I can probably put it in fast. You see it, it runs really well. I mean, this is, the Kohler engine is probably the best out there. Nova on this side, let me tell you what I did. Usually guys, when you're cutting grass, it's out like this, and then it starts piling up. And, and it's kind of it's kind of bad that it piles up like that. So as you can see what I did, I got here some wire ties, and what I do is I get another wire tie between there and there, and I pick it up like that, just so it can the grass can spread out more. And it's more even spread instead of just building up in one line. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is you can see the grass is back, grass is high back here in the yard. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do one, um, one, two lines and show you how we're even with the strip gears. Now this thing usually runs about five, runs about five miles per hour, which sounds pretty quick. But um, with the strip gears, I'm down to about two and a half. But it's still going. Even with those strip gears, it's still moving. All right, let's get this thing started. I'm gonna pull up here and I'm gonna turn around.
forgot to mention the blades that we got up here. This is pretty good. The blades that we got up here. Let me see if you can see what's that. You guys, you definitely want to get these blades. Well, that kind of rusty color now. But what they are, these are mulching blades. They're actually yellow. So when you get them through, you make sure you look at that right there. The yellow mulching blades. These blades are great. Alright, but besides that, say if you wanted to, you didn't want to pile up the grass and all that. Um, so what you want to do is bag it up, maybe use it as fertilizer or something. Or you're just going to put it out there for the trash can. Shut this off. So what we got for it is the bagger. Because when we was doing commercial, what we did was uh, sometimes they didn't want the grass all out there. So what we did was got the bagger so we can bag the stuff up and uh, put it out there for, for them. So what we got over here is the bagger attachment. The bagger attachment was, how much was the bagger attachment? 300. 300, 300 bucks, which is, ain't, which is not bad. And it comes with some pieces. And the pieces are pretty, pretty light. Let's go over here. I'm gonna grab these pieces. Let's go hook this up and I'll tell you what they are while we put them on. Okay, the first piece, this is the piece that hooks on down to the deck. Now it has this little rubber strap on it and it's supposed to be a little S thing, little metal S thing right here that hooks on, but this piece broke off and uh, I just use a wire. So what I'm gonna do, and it's got a little, little pin here that's hooked onto it. So what I do is pick the deck up, you got a little hole right there that that little pin goes into. As soon as that pin sets in there, now, right about in here, up on this bracket right here for the for the wheel, there's a little hole that you would just hook that S in there. But being that it's not in here, what I do, I got a little wire hooked up right here. And what I do is just take this wire, and I don't know why I didn't get the get a new one and put a hole in there, and I will. And I just hook that right there and hold that in there like that. So that's the chute. Where all the grass is gonna come out now. Pull my seat up. The next step, let's do this one by one. We got our main cap here. And what it does, see this bracket right here? You're gonna get this bracket that come with yours. It's gonna bolt right on to your tractor. And you got a slot right here. This slot. Then you got a slot that fits right here. And I'm gonna show you how this goes on. It's right up there, like that. It slides down. Put it up here like this so you can see from here. And once you get that on, you gotta take this bolt, put it right through there, and you see it has a square insert. That's so that flat, that wash, that uh, bolt can go right in there like that. Then you take this little wing nut, plastic wing nut, go on the other side and put it on. Now I'm not going to tighten it up all the way, just put it on just a little bit just so you can see it. Okay, then the next step is our bags. Now, you see these bags? These bags don't look like they hold a lot, but two of these, you take you get a 39 gallon or you get a 39 gallon garbage lawn and leaf bag. You get two of these filled, one, you know, filled up each, you're going to fill that bag up both of these all right so they do hold a lot so they just go hook up right in here you see these little round pipes right here and that's all they do is just go in and hook right up next step is the other part of the chute it goes over the first part of the chute then it goes up here and there's a little ring right here. So you just make sure it lines up right in that ring. And all these pieces are plastic, so it's very easy to handle. Close it down. Now right here, you want to make sure that this part goes into here. And 
this part will lock in here. But you don't have to lock this in. It's, it's pretty good like that. You can you can bend it down and lock it in there like that. But I, don't, I usually don't make it easier for me. All right, now it's ready to bag. Um, word of the wise, if your grass is wet, it will build up in here. So you want to make sure the gas, the grass is dry. And uh, if it's wet, you want to make sure the grass is kind of low. So and uh, go very slow to give it time to shoot up in there. All right, so let's get an example of how this works. did that because I wanted to uh, tell you sometimes sometimes the, and I, I got to replace the ignition switch on this because sometimes the ignition switches will mess up so sometimes you got to just click it a little bit but that's no problem at all ignition switch was like uh, 20, 20, something. 20 something dollars so I just haven't had time to replace it we did replace the one in the uh, zero turn already all right so we go in the back now you figured that all that route I did let's see what happens now the grass like I said the grass is kind of wet so let's see uh, exactly what happened here? So I'm gonna get this thing loosened up. And you see, out of all that we turned around right here, this is all the grass that built up just this much right here. And you just look how fine, you know, that is that is good right there. So it's able to cut a lot of grass as long as you got the what you playing with the grass? <laughs> as long as you got the mulching blaze up there. And let's see how our shoot looks inside inside. And what we're gonna do here just pop off our first half as you can see inside there nothing built up and this grass is a little wet so that's good and once once these fills up you know just take them off take that off pull one of them out and what I'm gonna do is go over here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you like what I like right here we're trying to build up the ground over here and what's nice about these things on the bottom of them they actually got little handles <laughs> so you can dump it out and as you can see this and you see that makes some that makes some good mulch right there look at that that makes some good mulch all right and then once you finish that you go back over here hook it back up close it down now um we also have another attachment with this and it's called it's we got the plow to this too because once in a while once in a while <laughs> that better yeah. all right once in a while it does snow down here every so often so we got the plow to go with this and the plow works great and that's probably another reason why i stripped out the gears in it but i'm using it for snow i'm using it for mud i use it for everything so um that's another attachment that goes to that but other than that, the machine is definitely well worth it. And I believe, how much we paid for this machine? $1,200. $1,200 and this long, and I have had no major issues with it. Um, and the issue that we do have with the rear, that's our fault, my fault really. <laughs> so um, it's definitely worth worth the investment, especially if you're just using it for a residential. If you use it for a commercial, just don't do it like, like I do it. I mean, I'd be snatching them gears. All right, any questions, be sure to put them in the comments below, or you can email me at Tim at astralautorepairs.com guys and girls i hope this helped and you to decide what kind of uh, machine you want to get for your grass this year and um take care